let me make a video about friendly playing in Guardians vs. Grace backgrounds. Guys, we need to have a discussion on this, come on. I've been discussing this with myself already and I feel like we should address this already. So first of all, playing friendly in Guardians vs. Grace backgrounds is, is not the same thing as role playing. If you combine friendly playing with role play, you will make a bit of a confusion in the fuss there, which, uh, let's just say, friendly, because friendly playing and role play are not the same thing, guys. Role playing is, means that you have to use the chat very often to um, chat and role play with others. That is role play, but while friendly playing is just, well, you know, like, what are we doing, guns, basically, background, jumping around with plants and zombies, following plants and zombies, getting uh, to, like, know each other better finding a lot of spots but we don't use the chat in friendly playing that's right and i i need to say that i've done some mistakes in trying to play friendly in gpg battlegrounds and i wish i m hadn't done because let's just say if you play friendly guys with great background and use the chat at the same time that counts as being friendly and role playing at the same time which does not function does not work trust me when i say this because it's a lot more cringy if you start role playing role playing is cringy compared to playing friendly folks yes i need to actually really tell you about this you don't want to role play when you are friendly playing you either do that or you do that usually role play is for some other purposes for like when now let me say this i tried role playing on two different occasions occasion number one normal servers where you'd usually be shooting each other Roleplay actually works there, you can actually roleplay, and it isn't the cringy, it isn't very cringy at all. You can roleplay pretty easily over there since you're not focusing on playing friendly with plants and zombies. But, when you're focusing on playing friendly and you try to roleplay at the same time, that's when it gets awkward. That's exactly when you don't want to roleplay. And I start to have a conversation about it with myself, and I figured out that that is the case from watching some... So from analyzing some of my videos from me playing friendly, I have figured out that I've approached it a bit wrong. Indeed, I've been chatting way too much while I was trying to focus on playing friendly. That did not help me. That actually did not help me too much. And I feel like all I've done is just uh, weird uh, players out too much by the end of the day until their um, uh, cringe meter just filled up 100% and they've left the server. Yeah, I felt like... We might have been better if we didn't use chat at all because we were focusing on playing friendly with plants and zombies, right? Well, you might have watched my clips, then you will see that I have indeed done some mistakes into uh, achieving this purpose and that didn't favor me in the best way possible. Though we still got the clips, though we still got the moments, I still feel sorry for weirding out those players and making them feel like I'm the weirdo. Uh, yeah, that is not work. Look, M MG Dan gave us a very good example of how what playing friendly means. The fact that he's not chatting, he didn't chat one single time. I was the only one using the chat. And I feel like he gets it better at this point with the friendly playing and the following play style. He's literally more, much more better than I was because he didn't use chat. He didn't chat at all. Though I thought that was weird, he was approaching it right, to be honest. That is exactly how you all should approach friendly playing in Guns vs. Grace Battlegrounds. Because if you use ch the chat, then you will play way too much. Unless you have very good stuff to talk about, then you just want to make it cringy. If you have nothing to talk about, you're better off not using the chat at all in friendly playing. Because then you make friendly playing way too cringy and nobody wants to put up with that after all. I've seen it myself, to be honest, yeah. Should have followed MG Dan's, uh, MG Dan's advice, sorry for... You know, I'm also cringed out because... <laughs> I've, I know I had a lot of occasions where I read their names wrong and I'm really sorry if I offended you by that. I, 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 I know, I should have read your name wrong. I'm sorry, MG Dan. I didn't mean to always call you MG Dan, MG Dad, however I used to call you. I'm sorry. I know, you were called MG Dan, but I just couldn't read your name right. I'm sorry. I know, I was just way too focused on um, playing like this and I... <laughs> yeah, it's even more cringy when you don't pronounce their name right, I, I swear, I'm sorry. I promise to pronounce their names right from now on, but like seriously, I, 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 I still don't know why I looked at their names and I still couldn't read it right. 
But he is MG Dan, not MH Dan. Can't believe I was always pronouncing his name wrong. Well, it is what I is, I guess. But here we go. My point is, you don't want to rule play in friendly playing, especially if you have not no good thing to say because otherwise you're just gonna make things awkward in friendly playing you're just focusing on friendly playing and doing friendly activities you don't focus on um, rule playing because that will that will ruin the moment that will ruin what you're trying to do then and another mistake that i've done in trying to pursue this um, objective uh, accomplish it uh, though in the following gameplay where plants and zombies follow each other what you see in in my video um I did a mistake to rush, and I I, <laughs> I might have left a lot of players behind me, which might have also made them feel very uncomfortable, because it would be like me following... I was better when I was following MG Dan, but when they were following me, I felt like I was going way too quick, because I rewatched them, and so that that was the case. I couldn't chill, I couldn't take a break, nothing. I just uh, ran all over the place, barely waiting for them to come after me. <laughs> Yeah, I I was trying my best not to uh, get too ahead of myself there, but there you go. I just did. I was based, I was so excited. I was getting people to follow me that I I I was going way too fast for them to keep up with me. <laughs> and I I was so a bit sorry for that because I should have definitely slowed down a bit. I should have slowed down. I know. Shouldn't have taken it like that. That is not the way that I I was supposed to play. <laughs> MG Dan was much better than me at uh, the following game plan because he wasn't he was taking his time he wasn't uh, uh, being as fast as I was yeah you know it's just that when you usually see a lot of uh, people that play this game guys with good backgrounds a lot more aggressive or shoot each other uh, you don't tend to uh, <laughs> you're not very used to doing it so like Maybe this, this is the first time for me because I I I know I did play a lot of uh, friendly occasions in GVG Battlegrounds across the series. We had a lot of friendly moments, but I always had something in me that made me like rush a bit because I know at the same time we're still playing Plants vs Zombies. We're still playing Guns vs Grey's background, so it's not exactly Plants and Zombies together all the way because maybe it is, but like they're still fighting against each other. So there's there's an easy feeling when I do that because then I don't know if the player truly wants to uh, put up with it or not and I, I, I have some trust issues, yes. <laughs> Social awkwardness, however you want to put it. The thing is, yes, this is also... You must be really willing to do this if you want to play friendly. Otherwise, I can't really play friendly with you. It, it's, not, it's not up to me to make you... Um, I, I can't force you to play friendly if you don't want to, obviously. If I feel like you don't want to put up with it because you feel like it's cringe or you just don't know how to do it properly and you're blaming me for being a weirdo, I, I can't really help you with that because playing friendly is all about jumping around, following you, and if you think this type of stuff is weird, then uh, you're not into plants and zombies friendly playing. <laughs> That's all I can say. But, you know, you really need players to follow you around and stuff and put up with this because if they don't put up with it they 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 get weirded out they leave the server they feel like it wasn't worth it and that is sad obviously i don't i'm happy i've accomplished these moments but i'm less happy to know that people might have not truly enjoyed it <laughs> and they got weirded out by it now that i think about me you know i care about this type of stuff and if i play friendly and accomplish this is good but maybe the second time i won't be able to feel it anymore because the players have have thought it's a weird thing and they don't want to have to witness it anymore because they just they're, they're just not into it and that just feels wrong to be honest because i was trying to get them to enjoy it as much as i was but you see my way of doing it might have not really influenced them in the right path i know what i'm saying because the people don't always come very often in this game or they do but maybe they play this game more normally there are also people out there that would like to witness this game in another and more interesting perspective like me and some other people like MG Dan or others they uh, they they do feel like uh, this type of play style where we just follow each other and jump around is fun and it really is fun if you're thinking about this but the players have to put up with it the players have to um, go through with, with you together and in the, in, in, if they feel like they're just not wanted or they're just being milked out for content look 
I'm not milking you out for content. I'm trying to make this stuff as fun as possible. This is a memorable thing to do and though you may say I'm milking you out for content because you're coming and you're playing friendly with me and I'm enjoying it to no end. Uh, you're wrong about it. I have feelings towards you too. So, you know, when you come into this game, I really care for your well-being and for the both of us so we can have the best of all moments and fun. But if you're taking it like I'm just milking you for content I'm not treating you the right way, it's... It's not the same thing as uh, when we do it without wondering about those things, you know, because we're trying to have a lot of great moments and stuff. These moments are worth recording, so if you say I'm milking out, it's uh, I can't just, this cannot be left unrecorded, because after all, these are moments that happen. Once they happen, you know, it's, it's weirder if it happened and you don't have it recorded, right? We don't want these such moments to go to waste because after all, it, this is these are really moments in GBG Battlegrounds where we don't, just don't want to we don't want to exclude. All right, it is friendly playing. It is a lot of uh, great stuff that happens that normally does not happen because we we always play this game shooting, shooting, winny, winny, capture control points, skill plan, zombie. But we don't we're not always like that. We're also trying to accomplish this stuff where we play more friendlier with each other. We we just keep, are able to do it like this, but. It is harder to perform if all players are not into this together. Like, they really have to get used to this. And I, I, I may, I am already pretty much used to this. But I need to see a lot more players play like this because I myself don't always encounter friendly players. And when I do, it's always seems to be at late hours when it's very hard to <laughs> put up. You need to come like during daytime. Like, look, it's daytime right now. But for some reason in daytime, I don't see any anyone players much friendly. No, I don't see many players at all during daytime. Always during nighttime, like I said. That isn't always a thing. You have to have your mind into this type of gameplay, guys. It is a very complex and beautiful scenario you find yourself into. The ability of playing friendly lies in all of you, but you just have to discover it, obviously. If you, if you, if you were not into it, and if you don't want to discover this friendly play, play style, and feel like it's not for you, then it's really sad because honestly there is so much stuff we can all learn from this we can learn a lot of things from this like honestly even i learned and <laughs> apart from being friendly all the time i i've learned a lot and i think i could really change my friendly playstyle to be a lot more better and less cringy you know it's very hard sometimes because you get all, all all sorts of players and the reason it works so good with mg dan is because me and him used to do this a lot more often like the fact that some players just joined in at a uh, later point, it was good, but I wasn't used to it. It's, it's getting, it gets even complicated. I think it's more easier when two players are playing friendly with each other than like five or six players playing, playing, playing friendly with each other, because then they all come into each other and they're like jumping around and things get a lot more chaotic. But, you know, they're still probably enjoying it. But at least just temporary. If usually when there's too many players joining in the friendly play, it gets a lot more weirder and players tend to lose themselves pretty quick. <laughs> um, players, you need to take it chill first of all. Like like I said, you need to decide who's the leader first, who to follow who, uh, who jump around. Or maybe you just don't need to overthink it. After all, if one's enjoying it, then the rest should be enjoying it too. But that is hardly the case because getting to every people... That, get it to every person that tries to, uh, that is influenced by this kind of play style. It's hard because they, they might not keep up with you a hundred percent. Is what I'm saying. You have to know who you're referring to, and like, that, otherwise they don't have to. Some, some may even feel excluded. You have to, you have to make sure nobody feels excluded when you're playing friendly because that is the worst feeling out of all. Let me tell you. Um, you want to make sure that everyone is wanted there in the zone of uh, friendly playing. And then you can make it happen properly. Like, this is actually some really interesting stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I'm definitely into this a lot. It works much better even with two players, but it is definitely much more fun with a lot more players. They just all have to be into this. Otherwise, things will start getting chaotic and you won't understand what's happening anymore afterwards. But you want to make sure that you're following the plot. Otherwise, if the chaos gets to you, then... Uh, but then you're lost. <laughs> you don't know exactly how to recollect yourself after that anymore. Um, yeah. It's this kind of stuff. Look, and me and MG Dan did this a lot. And since it's just the two of us, it's a lot more easier to follow, play friendly with each other than 
when it is a lot more players. When it's a lot more players, it's true. You need a lot more experience in friendly playing. And I, no matter how much experience I have, where there are more players, they are also trying. To, it's just hard to um, look at all of them and try to just. Uh, they, they just usually do what everyone else does and jump around playing friendly and that's usually how it should go but keep in mind that everyone has to feel comfortable on the, on the server if they don't feel comfortable and they feel neglected and whatever however they feel like then it's not good all everyone has to feel like at home <laughs> i have to say they need to feel like they have a place with when, where people care for them and they don't disrespect each other that's why I, I mean it is hard to make everyone feel like this because it's uh, like I told you everyone has to uh, follow you pretty much and uh, okay sorry I'm not following on the conversation really good <laughs> yeah I was going really good on this topic right now like seriously you can tell people have a lot of potential in playing friendly they just have to uh, not get weirded out and they just have to uh, understand what it means about f playing friendly let me drink some water Like I said, don't bring don't bring roleplay into this. Roleplay can be totally left out. You don't need to waste your time chatting shit in the chat because like this ruins the moment where you're trying to play friendly. This in GBG Battlegrounds it don't matter that everyone um, lives a happy <laughs> coexist happily together and do this type of um, um, activities together. Yeah, if you've been following with me, I, I don't know exactly where this conversation is gonna end, but I know that what I'm saying here is true. You definitely want players to keep up with you and uh, feel wanted, um, feel like you're caring for them. Uh, yeah, like I said, with two players, it's a lot more possible than having more players because, well, you don't risk creating any awkward scenarios when there's just two players, especially if there's one that you're very used to playing, playing with, like MG Dan was with me. Um, that's what I have to say. I feel like I've really busted it by just using the chat way too often and being way too quick. Should I just settle down a bit and play friendly properly? It's not that hard. You just you just don't have to get carried away. Because when you get carried away, p people can feel you and you're just gonna weird out everyone. They don't be like that. You need to you need to really have um. You need to have a pattern. Yeah. If you have a very specific and unique pattern. Then people can really follow you and play friendly with you around. If you don't have it, they're gonna get weirded out. I myself need to work a bit on this more as well. But I need to get a lot more friendly players in order for me to work on more scenarios and get used to it even better. You understand what I'm saying? Because not everyone, um, not everyone sees friendly playing the same way like I do, and it's it's hard to uh, friendly play with someone that has a different friendly playing perspective because I, because then it just gets weird yeah maybe it's hard to find people with the same friendly playing perspective but usually it just goes one way everyone needs to uh, be friendly that is the thing everyone needs to um, enjoy themselves while jumping around and exploring and very friendly stuff you could do in guns vs grace battlegrounds because there's a lot of things you could benefit from when doing this I know there are Roblox games out there, but the, the, we're excluding them because we're talking about GVG Battlegrounds. Maybe there aren't uh, a lot of games where you could... But yes, there are definitely a lot of Plants and Zombies roleplay games. But I'm not... Exclude the roleplays. Exclude the roleplays. Most of these roleplays games are trash either way. We don't care about the roleplays. We care about friendly playing in games where you're actually meant to uh, capture the control points, shoot each other... Well, this is when it gets more unique on this type of games because it's a lot more easier to play friendly on roleplay games and stuff. But like, we exclude this. We exclude this. We're trying to we're trying to make things in Guns with Chris Battlegrounds a lot more interesting. As you can see on and on MTR servers, you really just cannot fight each other anymore because then you would feel bad for killing each other like that. And it's you rather than just making someone else rage quit, you just would be able to play friendlier with each other. I would save us both some time and you wouldn't have to like leave the server because I killed you way too fast and I ab abused you. Uh, you could really <laughs> like learn a lot from this type of experiences, honestly. So there you go, that 
that concludes it. That's all I wanted to say about friendly playing in Guns vs. Chris Backgrounds. A pretty well made video here. I was inspired to make it right now, so I had to go at it while I was on the wave. Otherwise, I would forget my thoughts and I was not going to be able to talk about this. So, uh, finally, I managed to talk about this. So, maybe I gave you all a better perspective of friendly playing, hopefully. So, if you want to do it in Guns vs. Chris Backgrounds, um, I'm definitely, I will be there and we can do it together. But. Uh, keep in mind, we really have to be on the same page here. Otherwise, if we're not on the same page, I can't play friendly with you. You need to... You, you need, need to uh, understand that we're trying to play friendly with each other. We're not trying to make fools of ourselves here. So, uh, yeah. When you're willing to do this, I'll be on GVG Battlegrounds and we can play friendly together. I don't know how many people I can influence through this video, however, because... Out of... After all, even if I'm... I might just be wasting my words over here, but... If if you don't want if you don't want to think it's true that you could play like this in GVG Battlegrounds, then I can't really convince you any further because it's uh, it's way too hard. It's all up to you to decide whether it's worth playing friendly or not. For me, I decided it's worth, but it's all up to you. If you decide it's also worth playing friendly, then you have no problems playing friendly. Neither will I. But you have to decide for yourself if it's worth playing friendly or not. That's what I'm saying. Alright then guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I'm looking forward to see your progress in playing friendly in GVG Battlegrounds. Let, let's just see if we've managed to finally um, narrow it down to where we wanted it, like finally to have the perfect harmony exactly how we want it. <laughs> Alright then.